The RSI divergence indicator is provided for various platforms on the Trading Finder website. From this section, you can download the indicator file for the MetaTrader 5 and MetaTrader 4 platforms and execute it on the chart. Also, traders can own this page to know how the indicator works. From the navigation section, we select the indicator file and execute the indicator by dragging the file onto the chart. With the placement of the indicator, an oscillator window opens at the bottom of the chart for us. The RSI divergence indicator is an enhanced and advanced version of the RSI indicator that shows us positive and negative divergence points. This indicator displays negative divergences in red and it shows positive divergences in blue. Additionally, this indicator informs traders of trading positions on the chart by displaying buy and sell signals. In the settings section, there are options for us in the input part. The first part is the settings for the RSI period. The next section relates to the number of candles for calculating pivots. The maximum number of candles between two pivots. The minimum number of candles between two pivots. The number of divergences on each pivot. The number of breaks of the divergence line for confirming or not confirming the divergence. The shift section that determines how many candles back from the current candle to start its calculations. The color settings for sell signals. The color settings for buy signals. The line thickness settings. And finally, the dedicated template for the indicator, which has four different parts. Auto, Light, Dark, and Custom, with the Auto option selected. Only the color of the candles changes, with profitable candles turning bright green and losing candles turning bright red. By selecting the Light option, a light template is applied to the chart, which is the template that is placed on my chart. The next option is Dark, which selects a dark template. And the last section is Custom, which keeps your personalized template and applies the indicator to the charts. Here, I select the dark template, change the color of negative divergence to blue, and change the color of positive divergence to green, and then I click Confirm. Here, my template changed the positive divergence to green and the negative divergence to blue. Well, friends. We have reached the end of this indicator tutorial. We would be happy to share your comments and suggestions with us in the comments section.